So you've had a fantastic crop of potatoes. Now all you need to do is preserve and store them right through the winter to be able to make the most of that crop. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you four fantastic ways in which to preserve and store your potatoes right through the winter and into late spring. Be sure to stick around because I'm also gonna be giving you tips throughout which is gonna help you to save your own seed potatoes as well and store them ready for next year. I'm Tony O'Neill and this is UK Here We Grow and on this channel we deal with all things gardening, poultry keeping and beekeeping. If it's your first time here, consider hitting the subscribe button and bell icon to be notified each time we put out new content just like this. The biggest issue with some folks who grow large quantities of potatoes is that they don't know how to store them. And if you follow this video, I'm gonna be able to show you in how to store tubers to keep them fresh all the way through winter and into late spring. It's amazing that it's the end of October and I still have potatoes that are green and not been hit by blight. But last night we had a really bad frost and it was our first frost of the year. So that's it for these potatoes now. We really need to get them out of the ground. Storing potatoes starts at harvest time. You need to lift your potatoes carefully. Any damage while doing this will mean that you cannot store the potatoes as it will rot in storage. Lift your potatoes and ensure not to throw them about. Any damage to the skins or bruising will render the potato useless for storing. So take your time, be methodical and take care about your tubers. This is another reason why I love growing potatoes in containers. Not only do you get better yields as in the potato experiment video, and if you've not seen that yet, I'll put a link in the cards in the description. But you can harvest the potatoes using your hands. No chance of scraping or damaging the tubers with a fork or spade. This is probably the easiest and best way to harvest potatoes. However, if you've sown in the ground, I have some tips for ensuring that you don't damage them. Tip one, when harvesting from the ground, dig a hole to the side of the plant and then lift the tubers from beneath rather than trying to cut down through them. Tip two, once you have your first plant out, use a fork or spade and work as though you were digging a trench. This will ensure you're always below the tubers and this will have a better chance of success and not damaging your potatoes. Tip three, when you pull them out of the soil, do not throw them into a pile. Landing hard in this fashion, bumping against each other will create bruising later and these will rot. Once you harvested your potatoes, the next step is to cure them. Now, this is an easy process and providing the day is dry, you can lay these potatoes out on the soil and leave them dry for a few hours. Be very careful at this stage though because the skins are very fragile and if you were to rub the skin off, then this potato will be no good for storing. Once you've let them dry for a few hours, we can then move them indoors. A shed or a garage would be perfect for this, but it really needs to be dark. And the reason for that is we need to cure these potatoes for three to five days. If it's a light shed, then you need to block the window so that it becomes dark because if we allow light into that shed, the potatoes will turn green. We should leave those potatoes in that shed then for around three to five days and allow those skins to cure at which point we are then ready to save those potatoes and store them there are multiple ways in which to store potatoes the easiest would be to place the potatoes in a paper or hessian sack seal it up and place in your chosen storage place however with a little more effort you can greatly increase the time these potatoes will last and will also prevent them from sprouting in early spring take a wooden crate cardboard box or even the containers you grew the potatoes in. You're looking for something with a little airflow. Do not wash your potatoes beforehand, just gently brush off excess dirt. It is better for the tubers if you leave a little dirt on, and this can be removed when preparing the potatoes for your meal. Place some dry hay in the bottom of your box and put a layer of potatoes in. Ensure they do not touch each other, as this will prevent any potatoes that rot from spreading to other potatoes. Once you have filled in this section, place another layer of hay on top and then put in another layer of potatoes. We are creating a hay and potato lasagna. Continue until your box is full. 
close the top of the box but do not seal this as we require the airflow. Another way would be to place potatoes in a tray which has hay in the bottom and just keep them in a single layer, cover with more hay or an Essien sack and this method however does take up considerable room and it's not for everyone. This would be good for people who not only want to keep a few kilos for over winter, it's ideal for storing large bags of shop bought potatoes to make them last longer. Due to the heat we've had this year, farmers and seed companies are already stating that there is going to be a potato seed shortage next year. So with that in mind, it's really important to be able to store your own seed. Now the ideal size for seed potatoes is the size of an egg and these are really good because they're no much use to us for eating but what you want to do is wrap these in some newspaper so gently brush off any dirt and check them for any rot or holes and then wrap these in some newspaper place them in a plastic tray until we require them you then cover these over with a hessian sack what this does is stops them from sprouting in early spring until we are ready and then we can pull them out and start to chit or sprout our seed potatoes as and when we are ready, not when we are told to do it by the seed companies. It's a fantastic way to ensure that you are in control of your seed because what's going to happen next year is people are going to be shouting all over social media saying they can't get their seed potatoes or the seed companies haven't sent their seed potatoes through to them. Question of the day, how do you store your potatoes? Put your answer in the comments section below so that we can learn as a community and we can learn all the different methods of growing potatoes and storing potatoes. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I'm Tony O'Neill, this is UK Here We Grow, and remember folks, you reap what you sow. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.